Yeah. There's definitely something here. Oh, thank God. Is that not exactly... That is exactly what we've been saying. And there's this sort of heaviness to the air? Yeah, a ghost. Yeah, mm. a ghost. And it has a very lived-in atmosphere. When is the last time you two left the property? Um, hey. That feels like an attack. Yeah, we're workaholics. It's actually our job to stay here, so we can't leave the house. Okay. So yeah. Well, where did the incidents occur? Are they confined indoors, or...? Everywhere. The whole house. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Oh. This is beyond my skill set. I have to go. What? Anisha, wait! Anisha! You're our most spiritually connected friend. And, and that's not something we say to everyone we know. I mean, I do teach moonlight yoga. Hmm. Okay. Let's set up in the living room. Oh, thank God. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be well, safe. Hey, I don't wanna... Okay. We don't know if this matters, but the ghost in question might have been a celebrity. Thank you for sharing that with me. Give me her brush. After we pass the brush around, we will hold hands and recall within ourselves every time we have felt her presence. <clears throat> Rita, we come in peace, gratitude, and recognition of your cultural capital. You're safe here. What was that? I feel attacked. Yeah, she doesn't feel friend. It's so cold. Tom and Kathy state your purpose and identity. Rita, our purpose is to casually remind you of boundaries. We're only house sitters here. Do you hear that? I feel a lot of anger coming from that corner. I don't know, maybe try chanting something? Boundaries. House sitters. Came from beneath us. But there's nothing beneath us except. <laughs> <laughs>